I'm sure by now you've heard the term data scientist. There are tons of videos on becoming a data scientist and a day in the life of a data scientist. But I would say becoming a data analyst is an opportunity that's often overlooked. In this video, I'm going to break down the difference between a data scientist and a data analyst. Before I start though, please subscribe to this channel if you want more content related to analytics. You should also ring the bell if you want to get notifications when we post new videos. So what's the difference between a data scientist and a data analyst? Well, I see them breaking down into two main differences. So technical acumen and then also the focus of the role. On the technical acumen side, I've seen analysts transition from a marketing or maybe a supply chain job into an analyst role in just two to four months. And I don't think that's atypical. On the other end, data scientists often study for years to get their first data science role. In fact, a common career path is to get a data analyst role and then transition into data science. For example, in my consulting agency, we have a data scientist that consults for us, and he went for a two-year program in applied mathematics. So he got a master's degree before he even started the work. You could very easily couple you know, your acumen of sales or manufacturing with learning a visualization tool like Power BI or Tableau and very quickly make the transition into an analyst role. The second difference between data scientists and data analysts is really where they focus their energy and efforts. Data analysts and business analysts focus on business need, so they need to understand the KPIs and the goals of the organization. On the other hand, data scientists can tackle kind of more foggier issues. So they might figure out what's wrong with this product, and they might pull from multiple different data sources and they really need to know coding. And this is a catching point for a lot of people because learning coding is like learning a new language. So in summation, I really think you should look into becoming a business analyst. I think it's a really hot opportunity that a lot of people are overlooking.